Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Okay, how beautiful are these presents wrapped? Some of us have the talent, others not so much. Some have the time, others not so much. But there's a great opportunity uh, at Billings Bridge to come in and actually have your items gift wrapped for you for a wonderful cause. Joining us from Volunteer Ottawa, uh, Kelly Ayami and uh, Paula Coons. Great to have you both here. Thanks. It's been pretty busy for you since the beginning of December. It's been very busy. So tell us a little, a little bit about the program and that it continues to run right through until around 5 o'clock uh, on Saturday. That's right. We actually, we wrap presents at Billingsbridge Shopping Centre. Uh, we're there from December 1st to 24th. Uh, we're going to be there tonight until 9 o'clock and tomorrow from 8 until 5. We have um, 200 volunteer shifts with about 100 volunteers who wrap during those shifts, so it's an amazing group of volunteers that helps us. It's been wonderful to see uh, people come in and they make a donation. So where would the money be going to? Tell us a little bit more about Volunteer Ottawa. So the money will go back to Volunteer Ottawa's programs and services. So we offer programs for youth, for new Canadians, and also volunteers with disabilities. Plus we just have your regular run-of-the-mill volunteer opportunities and we support charities mm -hmm. who need volunteers. So we alleviate some of the pressure off them to, to find the volunteers that they need. So we concentrate all of our efforts there and and get people connected to the right organizations. It's amazing to see, and I know a lot of, uh, of the charities around town really depend on you, and you've done an amazing job. Uh, you're also actually here to help us because you've got some great tips for people who are about to settle in and start wrapping everything that they've purchased. So give us a quick rundown because you have some beautiful displays for us. Sure. Um, we'll start with our, our creative wine bottle wrapping. Uh, this is something very easy. You A lot of times you'll go to people's houses and you bring a bottle of wine, you want to jazz it up a little bit. So this is simply a tea towel um, folded in half or four times and then wrapped around the bottle and actually tied with a bow. Something really easy and something very creative and different. Um, and then a little tip for the people receiving the bottle of wine. Something my hubby to be and I like to do is um, we actually write the name of the person giving it on the bottle, so then when we actually open it later on, we'll write them a little text message and say thank oh, you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What a great idea. Uh, it's so easy to do. It's Take so a second easy. and know where the bottles are coming from. All right, moving in, we've got beautiful boxes. Uh, is, there, is there a key into how to do things? Because look at, look at this. I mean, it's like priceless. Yeah, so we have this one, uh, this one gift that we had wrapped up. Um, so if you don't have wrapping paper at home, you can just use a piece of paper, a piece of white paper, any kind of paper will do. We just used some stamps that we had around the office. Um, if you've got anything at home, so we've got some um, happy face stamps and some date stamps, and it just makes the gift uh, personalized. It personalized. Yeah. It's personalized and it's done. All right, and talking about personalizing something, check this out. This is probably one of the most unique and beautiful bows I have ever seen. Kelly, and this is close to your heart. This is close to my heart, I, and it's very easy to do. We've actually written a blog post about how to do it on our Volunteer Ottawa blog, and it's simply my niece's artwork. Okay, how many of us have these all Tons around Tons of our artwork. <laughs> you know, cut they up. They piled, right. Cut up into eight strips, and then you fold them into little figure eights. So how do you make a figure eight? So, see how it's folded? This yeah, is so your, you your key. Yeah, it in half. Yeah, so what you want to do is bring it around to the other side like that mm -hmm. and then for our purposes we can just use tape if you want to take off a piece of tape I like to use glue so there's nothing there then all you need to do is bring it around this side and tape it again and then what you do is once you have eight of those you just stick them together with glue and you start building your bow that's wonderful something grandma and grandpa will absolutely love on a gift or um, we've actually used them with volunteer Ottawa's logos and we also have a couple that are made with. Um, like, new, is this like articles? It's a, cata it's a catalog article. I love yeah. this idea. I From think a it, magazine. it's amazing. It really is, and especially with the artwork, this <laughs> is something that uh, this will last. This isn't, and getting, it's recycling. This isn't getting thrown out for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Now, there's some tr uh, items that are trickier than others. <laughs> Now, I, I, I'm going to call Jeff in, because okay. you actually have, have talked, you've bragged a little I bit about brag. your... I did brag, I made the mistake. You, you've bragged, that's honest, okay. uh, about your rapping abilities. So first so, dance and blind What? Pulse. No, 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 that's impossible. <laughs> you can't... This so is actually what we do at our volunteer recognition event for okay. our volunteers that gift wrap. Mm -hmm. We have them blindfold and wrap present. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. And something else that it also ties into in terms of gift wrapping blindfolded is we do support volunteers with disabilities and many people have visual impairments. Do you know what's so weird about this though? I don't trust our crew. <laughs> <laughs> this gives you an idea of so how difficult right it now, could right? be for, for somebody who might be visually impaired. So there's tape around you. Tape is right to your left. Okay, thanks. Okay. Where's the tape? 
it down a bit. Uh, there you right go. There. Awesome. Okay, we are going to continue to do this while we hand things over to Kurt, and he's in the kitchen with Farm Boy. And come check back in on how things are going here. Kurt? Oh, you got